is allard item Y2116. It is a logical machine, single lane scale, netway filler for particulate products. As you can see, it has a large feed hopper on the top, which is full of product at the moment. Today we're going to be uh, showing uh, a little demo of these aromatic granules uh, for a prospect. It has an adjustable slide gate that regulates the discharge from the top hopper. Uh, it has the bulk and dribble feed pan. What this does is it oscillates between high speed uh, to fill bulk, which gets most of your fill, and then it slowly dribbles product in at the end to get accuracy. This is the way cell and the discharge spout, and there are several different sizes and shapes of these depending on your product and container characteristics that are available. It has a touchscreen uh, controller unit here, all digital, uh, which allows it to be set up. Today we're operating with a foot pedal operated machine, which, uh, there we go, which allows you to actually tell it to go ahead and fill the container. Uh, other setups are available. You can put a photo eye there that senses when the container is in position or activate it from another machine. This one is set up, all stainless steel product context. It has a powder coated frame. Uh, it is also available with an all stainless steel frame optionally. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, show you how this baby works. Um, one thing that we have modified for this test of this product product's very light. We need to get it in a very low layer. We have added a sheet of cardboard behind that to get our layer really low, but that's just to simulate uh, the extended gate that is available from a uh, logical machine for uh, $30 more. Uh, but we, we're getting much better success with this just being in one fine row, and the product is still coming out of the hopper with it only being about a quarter inch open. Now, we've gone through and preset a couple of programs in here. Uh, the jobs we were asked to do is to run to uh, 0.09 and another one to 0.025. I built the tolerance in on this one to uh, 2 grams above 0.09 and also 1 gram below 0.09. Uh, Basically, I've set it up to tell it what the bulk is, what the dribble is, and go from there. It's just foot switch operated, drops a product, goes through its cycle, goes through the, the final, you hear it cut its speed down to the dribble, 0.92, that's one gram over uh, overweight. You can, when we see the next one, you'll see that we're going very high tolerance uh, on it, with just a gram above or below of a very small fill, and you'll see the difference in the way it works. But again, it drops, closes the gate. Still within tolerance. If you want it to be closer, you could cut the bulk time more, but then that lengthens out the time of your fill. Now it's dribbling, yep. And then it's done. Okay, so we're, we go into the menu. We select setup. We have load job. That was job one. We load job two. So job two, edit this job. We're trying to get out to 0 0.025. So we're going at a, we're stopping our bulk at 0.15. Our bulk speed would be 45% of what the scale can do. At 0.22, we're stopping our dribble, where it's just going to go into a bump mode. And we're going down to a speed of uh, 0.37. Our target weight is 0.25. We're only allowing a gram above and a gram below. Uh, currently, I have the drop gate open for two seconds, which it really doesn't need to be. And it closing, it, the cycle starting again a half second after the door closes. So, enter. Home. We should be all set. Okay, two six. Okay, so it's 
So go ahead and we're going to cycle it a couple of times here just to show what kind of speed is possible. You hold the container under. This is the smaller fill, quite precise. And the point of all of this with these settings and so forth is that you have all these adjustments and settings and you can dial in what you want and or need. If you need to run a little faster, uh, you can sacrifice a little precision. If you need precision, it's going to take a little bit longer to cycle. So home, set up, load job. I want to load job one. Now job one was set up to be a little more speed than finesse. So edit this job. Going out to, we're, we're headed towards point nine, but we're going out at stopping our bulk, which is the high speed at 60 and running at 60% of the capability of the, of the uh, shaker is stopping at 0 0.5, 0 0.05 pounds. Then we're going into the dribble right out to just before our weight at 40% of what the, the unit can do. There's our target weight, 0 0.09. Uh, 0 0.94 is two grams over. 0.88 is one gram under. I have the drop at uh, a second and a half. But with the way this stuff drops, hold on. 8.05. Okay, and then the starts one second after the whole thing, okay. after it closes. Yep. So we go to home. Since I changed something, go to two. Go to four to save. Go to two, three, load one, enter and we should be good. There's the dribble. Mm -hmm. Bolt, going fast, now it'll slow down the dribble in for accuracy. Makes the weight, okay. Okay, we're gonna... Number two. Two. And four. So we're right in there and we're, we're going right along. Probably take you more time to get the container in place. Yeah. Yep. So there it is. It cycles along rather nicely. And uh, we are a dealer for Logical Machine. We Keep these machines in stock, uh, generally, <laughs> ready to ship, available in obviously new, excellent operational mechanical cosmetic condition, ready for immediate shipment here at Allard Equipment Corp.